You all saw that I went a little bit berserk at the Sephora VIB sale. I want to share with you five of the things that I am super impressed with of that. So far, I want to be able to bring these to you and most of them are on sale right now. So let's get into it. Hi friends. So that haul that I did of the Sephora sale was massive. And I have just a few things already that are impressing me so much. And they also are on the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So I wanted to make sure that I got that to you too. So we're going to start off with something that I didn't really think that I was going to love as much as I do. And that's the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This is a huge difference in my skin as far as how my foundation lays. Now, I am really enjoying, I got the Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation, and then I also got the Dior Forever, the Glow one. I have that Glow one on today, and I really am loving it. I mean, I am really loving both of those, but this Tatcha Primer is is something so different it it almost reminds me of a thinner version of my favorite which is the nyx marshmallow primer this is just a little bit thinner it feels more hydrating and my dry skin is loving it the other thing is it's just so smooth i am just absolutely shocked at how smooth it is on my skin and then it doesn't stay tacky it actually almost feels um, like silk. I don't even know how to explain it other than that. It just feels like silk. And then when I go to put my foundation on it, there's never any budge or any, I don't feel like anything's moving around. I don't feel like it's even tacky. It just feels very, very silky on my skin. And I'm loving it. So Tatcha is having a site-wide 20% off sale for Black Friday. I'll make sure that I link that below. And the cool thing about it is you can buy one thing and get free shipping. It's complimentary sh shipping on everything. And they're, they have great sets too. Um, they have big sets of this kind of stuff put in it. And I actually just purchased another set with one of these and their spray. I want to try their spray really bad. So that one was really exciting for me. Another one that I got this was on sale during the i think this is the ulta sale that was right after the sephora sale was done anyway it's the matrix total results high amplified dry shampoo i was in desperate need of a really good dry shampoo because i had run out of mine which i really wasn't crazy about and i wanted to try something that was a little bit higher end not really higher end but just one that i felt like probably had better ingredients than if you just picked up like batiste or you know your not your mother's all those kinds of ones that i have been using my my hair is so fine and so limp that what i notice is that when i use some of those because they're very powdery it just weighs it down this one is so good i've been using this i use this right after i blow dry my hair right after it's freshly clean and it helps keep it clean longer and the other thing is like today when i wanted a little bit of extra oomph back here i just sprayed it and then you know just kind of worked it into the roots and it just feels silky and i just i'm really liking it so you can get the results of you know using it two or three days after you shampoo which is what a dry shampoo is, is supposed to be for or you can go ahead and, you know, use it in the beginning. It gives you more volume. It gives you that texture. I just, I've really been enjoying this so, so much. Really have loved that. And then this is, this isn't what I'm wearing today, but this is the Borges, Borjo, however you say that, Healthy Mix Foundation. I better get my glasses so I can actually read to you exactly what it says. It says that this is the Healthy Mix anti-fatigue foundation 16 hour wear it says it has a vitamin mix of c e and b5 this is pretty on the skin really pretty on the skin i've worn it four times now and this is the one that ally glines had said that she really likes and it was like becoming her new favorite and it's just really 
gorgeous because it's not matte, but it's not super dewy either. So it has a really beautiful satin finish to it. And it does last a really long time on, on your skin. And for me, it didn't turn orange like so many foundations can when you have fair skin. If you, once you get it on, they can turn orange. So I've really been enjoying this one. And let's see if I can figure out my color for you quickly. I probably won't, but let's see. It says light beige. So I have it in light beige. It seems to be a pretty good color, maybe a tad bit too dark. So I have to put a little bit of the white mixer medium in it, but really been enjoying that. And it seems to be one from the drugstore or drugstore priced that really plays well on my mature skin. So I've been loving that. And then as well, recently I got this little uh, locket down palette from ColourPop and I got it at Ulta and this is what I have on my eyes today and I've been having so much fun with this palette. First of all, you get three very, very cool tones. So if you want to do a neutral look, you absolutely can. But if you want to amp it up and you want to go into the berry, like what I have on today, you get to do that too. And I just think it's so pretty. Now these two colors right here, this one is just a very high shimmer color so pretty. It's what I have on my eyelids today, and it is such a stunning color. It has no glitter in it. It's just shimmer metallic, and it just is beautiful across your eyelid, and then I put it in my inner corner to really do some brightening, but this one over here, it does have a little bit of the chunky glitter in it, but for that formula that normally is so hard for us to wear when we're mature women on our eyes, this one is a little bit better because it does have that underneath texture of being really nice and it has the color underneath it, but you could layer that on top of any of these. Like, let's say you wanted to do this dark berry right here, which is such a pretty color. This is what I have on my outer, um, to darken up my outer lid. And then you wanted to put this on top of it. You could transform that into just a beautiful color. Now, what I'm saying is I wouldn't wear that every day, but I think that that can go on any of your matte shadows that you have in your arsenal of shadows and it would be a beautiful party look wouldn't that be just gorgeous to wear to any party or any really special occasion that you had? I just think that's so pretty. So these are gorgeous and they're the normal formula that ColourPop has. They're just a beautiful, beautiful formula. And I love ColourPop, ColourPop's formula. I'm somebody that will love them forever. And I, I just think their shadows are every bit as good as high end. And I really like that little palette. Lastly, I was only going to do five products in this video because I didn't want it to get very long. But I have three products from Kosas and I have kind of fallen in love with this brand because their products are amazing. And everything that I've tried so far from them has been very, very good. Let's start off with the um, concealer. I have this on today. You guys know how much I hate concealer, but this was super brightening in this area right here. And it didn't, I mean, I didn't even have to, it feels a tiny bit tacky still. All I did was put on a beauty blender, a little bit of setting spray and put it, you know, on there, but it just, it's pretty. I mean, it's not like my normal ones that look so crinkly and nasty when, you know, dried out and make my eyes look even more wrinkled and more, you know, of that crepey skin under there than normal. I really like this. It comes in a bunch of colors. It's creamy. I have found that I don't even, I need like a minuscule dot of this and it just lays down and then it will set down and it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. And it's just been working so well for me. I actually got during the sale, I got three new concealers. I did that because I know that you guys love concealers and that a lot of you still use concealers. So I wanted to try a few. I got the Anastasia. Um, this one I actually got right before the sale. And then I got but, oh, what's the other one? I got the Lancome, the new one. I actually like all three of them a lot. And I don't know if that's just because maybe I need a little bit extra moisture and they all say that they're pretty hydrating. The Lancome one is probably the driest one, but it actually can give me really beautiful light right there in the corner because it's a little bit lighter of a color. So I really been liking that too. Now, 
their powder, their cloud set powder. And this one is in breezy, I guess. Hopefully that's the color of it. It's light. Um, now I will say that if you can see that, I don't know if you're going to be able to or not. It had like a film over top of it and it still kind of does. It's kind of weird like that, but it's really super light and really super airy and it doesn't dry out. If you got a lot on there, I would say, yes, it's going to dry you out, but it's so creamy. This is, sorry, that right there is the um, concealer. It's so creamy. It's just super duper creamy. And it's it just doesn't feel like a normal powder. I don't really know how to describe these things that are so different from regular powders. They're, okay, it's not drying. It doesn't make me look cakey. It makes me look airbrushed. I, again, I use a beauty blender and then I just kind of pat a very light amount into this area right here where I need some blurring. And it just does the blurring without any, you know, looking dry. And I'm loving that. And then the last product is this um, lip oil that they have. And this is so hydrating. I have been absolutely loving this. And the, the color of it, there is a nice coloring about it. So you get color with it instead of just the regular, you know, sheer nothing there. It's a pretty, pretty color. I'll put a little bit on so you can see. Pretty color. Really like it. It's one of those ones that it doesn't feel like a tacky, sticky gloss, but you know that there's gloss there. I'm a gloss person. I like gloss a lot. And this doesn't feel like a slippery oil. It feels like a gloss or a balm, but it doesn't feel like one of those tacky, sticky glosses, thick ones. So I hope that makes sense. It feels pillowy like the Fenty Beauty ones do. Anyway, Kosas is also having their sale go on right now. And their sale, I believe, is you purchase a certain amount and you get a certain amount off. So I've really been impressed with this brand. I'm surprised at how much I like this brand. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And I will make sure that I link everything that I was talking about about the sale down below. So if you're going to be shopping those sales, I will have over on my Instagram, which is Mrs. Melissa M1. I will have that over on my Instagram as many of those things that I feel like are really good bargains and that they're really good products and, you know, they're good bang for your buck. Anyway, if you do end up buying anything through any of my links, I just want to tell you how appreciative I am of that. It does really help me to continue to bring you reviews and dupes and those kinds of things that we're all looking for. So I do appreciate all of your support and you clicking on my links or using my codes or whatever it happens to be. I do appreciate that, but please don't ever feel like you ever have to buy anything off of my links. Um, I bring you things that are fantastic regardless of whether you use my links or not. And I'm going to show you the very best of the very best. So I hope all of you are doing really well. I love you very, very much. And I will catch you all in my next video. Love you bunches. Bye-bye.